Welcome everyone to Great Finances Weekly AMA. I am Nikki, and as always, I'm here with LB. Welcome, LB. Hey guys, thanks for uh, listening in. Yeah, um, has been um, has been a year since the start of the protocol, and and yeah. almost a year since the start of the AMAs. I don't know when that started. Probably March or something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not not too long after we started yeah man <laughs> time flies that's crazy yeah. <laughs> yeah really been doing this almost every week i, I don't think yeah. we skip man yeah, anyway. yeah i think you know maybe like one one or two weeks were dragged out like a week or something but that's that's basically yeah it. yeah i was in the was feeling sorry for myself and being really busy and stuff <laughs> 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 that happens sometimes. <laughs> um, and then there was some done by by uh, other hosts. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good yeah. good run. Yeah. Um, okay, so the first one is um, someone who's who's even saying they're commenting for the first time, and and then that's MacGyver Seventh. I I, I missed two to six, but you know this. I, I'm <laughs> glad that <laughs> the line is being continued. Um, uh, they're asking, um, with wine share emissions ended, the total supply and max supply on uh, Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko sits at fourteen thousand thirty-two. With uh, the wine press being an avenue for people to increase their yield via, via MIM wine LP deposits, wine output. Will this increase the amount of total supply and max over time, or am I misunderstanding the wine press? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's uh, there's no increase in wine. It's not possible to increase wine anyway. It's um, there's no mint function on the contract, so that's it. It's done. It can only technically decrease uh, if if burnt from here, but it's it's uh, totally fixed supply. Yeah, and then maybe maybe it would be nice to uh, make a quick explanation about how the how the press would work because that does give you an output in wine. Oh right? yeah, well, well the presses they work. Uh, I guess similar mechanic to X X grape. It's a uh, it's based on shares. So um, each each deposit and claim comes with a variable fee that depending on what press it is and that fee uh essentially stays in the contract so it uh increases the value of everybody's shares so everybody has a fixed number of shares and when you deposit it's tied to a certain number of lp that you can claim and over time as people deposit and claim uh, that fee goes to the backing, uh, similar to Xgrape, uh, in in sort of mechanics, where then uh, your your number of shares uh, is able to claim more LP over time. So it doesn't increase the, it doesn't mint new wine or anything like that. It's um, it it works based on uh, fees that add to the backing, which increase what you can claim uh for the same amount of shares so it's basically very similar to x grape mechanics in 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 uh if you want to go like if you know x grape then it's very similar uh based on fees i i think that's a a proper answer and uh, if there are more questions of course we're willing to answer them um Mm -hmm. but they need to be more specific then all right. Um, they're also saying thanks for the updates on the AMAs via YouTube, of course. And yeah. they say was able to snag wine's uh, share when it dropped to the two or three dollar range while seeing and hearing the long term uses of it. Appreciate nice. the effort for being put uh, the effort being put into this project. Sincerely, Mac. Yeah, that's really good. Um, Getting some at, at two or three dollar is uh, that was about the bottom, and um, considering where we are and considering that wine is no longer emitted, um, it has a very good chance of staying the bottom. And um, 
that's a really good buying range you've got there. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Um, I've also just looked at uh, the wine chart, and um, I saw that, and of course, there was a pump from that bottom one. Um, was somewhere at the two dollar range and went to three eighty, and then it had some sort of a flag that took a bull flag. I mean that that took about two weeks, and now then we got a pump again, and we're now at day four or so, four or five of that uh, second time, uh, second bull flag, which is forming a similar pattern. So this is good. Because even the second pump is larger than the first one. So um, just reading the chart, uh, aside from, of course, knowing the value of it, but just reading the chart is also, yeah, not a good, not bad. It's uh, it's making a higher high and a, mm-hmm. well, about to form a higher low. So uh, good stuff, good stuff. Moving on to uh, Need Raisin saying, uh, or oh, actually, uh quoting hello player uh mm-hmm. saying hello devs uh, when will the next tool uh, be available and the next auction to buy in open sea we need tools please thanks uh <laughs> yeah yeah were, uh, were you late <laughs> did you miss it <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i think well i still have some uh quite a few corkers so we're going to run we're going to run another auction um and also a, a a different sort of um kind of like a a, a uh, almost like a lottery you could say as well so we're going to run another auction probably set that up this week and uh or you know this coming week and then um sort out some details for a bit of a giveaway to or like a like a lotto almost um so yeah so there's, I think there's like a hundred more corkers to to give out. So yeah. All right. So keep an eye on the announcements. I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they will, and they will come. Peter Flea wants to know, Yo fam, we are leaving the wine in the winery for Vinium rewards, eh? Uh, interesting. I always find it interesting when people ask questions that way, like, "Hey, we're doing that, eh?" <laughs> but uh, y- yeah, I guess yeah, yeah. we are, <laughs> we are. Eh? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, for now, that's the uh, that that's um, where we're going to distribute. Uh, maybe in the future, we'll you know <clears throat> make a separate contract for it or something like that, and you know we'll, we'll figure out the best way to do it, especially if we do cross chain sort of. Uh, uh, you know, um, uh, distributions as well. But um, yeah, for now, uh, winery. And um, and if you want to earn yield in the meantime, because, you know, we'll, we'll ahead of time let people know when, uh, you know, there'll be distributions going out and how they will be distributed as well. So uh, if you want to earn some yield in the meantime, you can uh, put it in the phantom house wine flip pool um which uh you know you are you do take on some risks too because you are the house uh but technically over time the the house has an edge but um that's uh that's a separate thing but you know we will uh in saying that we will when there's distributions to be made they'll be announced ahead of time so you'll be able to and we'll let you know what that what you have to what you have to do to qualify for that so yeah yeah that's uh, actually a nice one that um that wine flip mm-hmm. any any of those flips actually are uh, nice ones uh, but you need to you need to know that you can only take your <laughs> you can take your deposit out only once a week for a four mm-hmm. hour window so uh, or you have to contact them then you can also mm-hmm. take it out but uh so that's the good thing to know. But it is a nice place to uh, earn some tokens on your tokens. Mm-hmm. Um, they have many. All right. Um, moving on to when isolated wine pool on Vinium so I can loop my wine position. I need more wine. <laughs> well, that one is a bit more scary than um, than the X-Grape 
one, right? Because mm-hmm. wine is a very shallow pool, I would say. Yeah, there's um, roughly 100, 100K, 110K of liquidity, which means, you know, there's actually 55K of MIM in there. Um, so, and, I, I'm, and there, I don't know exactly total market cap of wine, but I, I'm guessing it would be more than that. So... Uh, that kind of poses a risk. Uh, even if it's isolated, it still poses a risk. If um, you know, a lot of people. If you technically, if we have more wine being borrowed, being lent, uh, not borrowed, uh, used as collateral, um, then there's even liquidity in the pool. That's even if it's isolated, that's a very big risk. Uh, but in saying that, you know, there's something we we may still do, and we may impose a uh, you know like a ceiling, a, a limit of of how much people can use as collateral. Um, so that's a, an option too. Um, so yeah, possibly in the future. Yeah, yeah, I'll make make a token like like X grape for wine, and then work with that. But um. The thing is, though, wine is sort of the share token. Um, uh, it it actually grants you the, at some point it will. Well, at some point it will, but it it should grant you the revenue from the whole thing. So, uh, it's a um, yeah, it would be an interesting loop. I would say <laughs> <laughs> maybe not the first thing I would think of. Uh, then we have Sam, our own very own Sam, who's saying, uh, "I heard LB is going to Dubai." for attending conferences uh not at all partying and uh can i come lb because i'll promise to teach you some moves some dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> i mean uh never rest is never gotten right yeah yeah well um yes yeah, so I'm, I'm i am going in march it's a couple conferences um and then going to avalanche conference as well it's kind of the big one really dubai is like the halfway point from you know australia can't fly direct to um barcelona uh so i thought you know may as well stop in dubai uh and might as well enough, hang out <laughs> yeah well considering that there's actually funnily enough like three decent conferences in dubai just in the one month which is uh quite funny considering in australia it's not really it's it's like no, none. There's like three in in three years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Dubai is the is a really interesting place, or is becoming a really interesting place in in the changing of the world economy. Uh, of course, because of all the oil there, but also also because they're taking a different stance and they're they're moving their um, stance away from the U.S. dependency a little bit, at least as much mm-hmm. they, as they can or dare. I would say, <laughs> um, yeah, because yeah, that's yeah. scary. The U.S. is still a, a very mighty force, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I, I'm uh, sometimes uh, when I feel a little bit um, no, <laughs> just sometimes uh, I look at uh, crypto, the the Coin Bureau. Uh, that was I, w- yeah. I was going to say yeah. when I feel a little, a little bit. Um, uh, melancholy because uh you know that's where i started <laughs> it's one of the first channels i followed uh by, yeah, yeah, yeah. By crypto but he still has a, a lot of good content and that guy good actually info, moved yeah. to dubai mm-hmm. he um he, he moved to dubai from uh from Brit- britain where he first was um uh, because simply yeah. because of all, all the changes in the world and uh and because he's obviously a uh, very deeply into crypto mm-hmm. so um those moves, I think, for, from someone who's very, very informed, uh, I think such moves are interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, maybe you'll run into him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's a there's it's definitely a bit of a crypto hub. Is becoming one. You know, Binance is going to set up shop there. Uh, Bybit's yeah. there. You know, they have uh, conferences all the time there. There's, it's uh, they, they're kind of embracing the the crypto hub as you know their identity as a crypto hub as well um yeah. you know they're not being too uh strict on it in other words like you know they have regulations and whatnot of course but it's but it's it's not like some countries where it's a real gray area still and they kind of almost make it a gray area on purpose so that you don't do it <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. I'm talking. I'm talking on the US. <laughs> yeah, the US really, really somehow. I don't really know what the game is that the US is playing. Uh, sometimes, yeah, it, I, I, I can, I can get there, but I don't really understand. No, that's not true. I'm, I understand it, but if I want to understand it, I'll have to think that there is some maliciousness involved, and, and, in, in. in yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Let's not go there right now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so then Peter Flea had a question which is answered because it was about zipping, zapping that's not there. Um, Peter Flea yeah, also yeah. is asking, have been compounding the past few months in Solero Press, got up to 20% per day, nothing claimed. Now I've just put 100 bucks in it and it dropped me to 5% per day. Why? And thanks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's because it averages out. If you haven't deposited over, over that period where you're compounding, um, then it's basically using the 20% on the original deposit. Uh, but now that you've added more, it's, it's, it's averaging out over all your deposits. Um, especially now as well, considering your deposit in the beginning, even if it's the same value, like you put the same amount of LP and technically if, you, if, if there was the same dollar value over that period of time, uh, when you deposit in the beginning, you would have got say, you know, a hundred shares, uh, worth that amount of LP, but now you deposit the same amount, um, you would technically get less shares because the share value has increased over that time too. Um, so it's, it's not like nodes, for example, where it's more, you know, there's a, there's a whole pool that everybody gets the same APR, uh, or, you know, APR is based on, um, your account basically that's based on all, all the deposits and whatnot, but this is the, the press works a little bit different where it's, uh, based on share value. And based on um, on an average of your account too, so um, yeah, it's it's a little bit different. Yeah, and just as always, like if you compound, you get a higher share, and if you don't, you you, you know you get a lower percentage, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's the same. Okay, moving on to Neat Grape, who has a very interesting question. <laughs> hey, level barometer, how much TVA, a TVL until the grape team gets matching grape to twos? <laughs> <laughs> and then Neat Raisin says one billion dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah, a billion, billion dollars. That's that's a lot of TVL. That is a lot of TVL, and the thing is though. I mean, having a grapevine as a tattoo is not that bad. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. a grapevine <laughs> with with some grapes. I mean, they're worse tattoos, far worse. <laughs> <laughs> this is all yeah. natural and stuff. You know, I, I I I think I could deal with it. I'm not sure about matching though, because the thing with matching is that. Um, Probably you're not designing it yourself. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then you get a tattoo that you don't really, really feel. <laughs> but uh, it's an interesting thing, though, because um, I think Grape already changed uh, a, a lot for a lot of people. Um, I, I, you know, in the last half year, things haven't been so good, but uh, right in the beginning or in the first half year, um, we we saw a lot of stories about people being really thankful about you know, you know the 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 way things went for them and and being really happy about the, uh, mm-hmm. the you know the, the their grape investments and and um, how they how the grape investments held up against uh, all of the other cryptos going down at that time. Um, and for me personally, I think uh, grape has changed a lot in my life um i mean i i uh stopped being i, I stopped having a um a, a wage job i i uh, started doing something else i'm i've uh, i'm now you know building a truck into a house so i can travel and and and, and be yeah. free and, and live a very interesting life none of that would have happened 
if if great finance weren't there. And um, I think that's very special. I think that's a very uh, positive and beautiful thing. And I'm not sure if taking a tattoo is the way to honor that. It might be. I mean, it could be. It could be fun as well. But um, I, I, yeah, I, I, I do think um, uh, there's something really nice there. And you know, one billion dollars TVL would be really good. I, I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say no to that. Let's uh, let's go for that. One billion dollars TVL. <laughs> You want to say anything on a matter, or shall we move on? Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess yeah, it can make sense. You know, I agree with you. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Moving on then. Um, Chenkel saying um, thanks for the update, LP and team. Winemaker is looking good again. This is referring to your latest update on uh, switching to raisin, I suppose. Oh yeah. If you if you haven't um, if you haven't uh, withdrawn unstaked from the Enoteca, then then you should do that. Um, in the next, I guess you know, thirty six hours now, roughly like that, we'll we'll deploy a new contract, and it's going to start emitting raisin instead of uh, vintage rewards for for being an LP. Um, yeah. And uh, I mean, post the the, the forty eight hours when we deploy a new contract and whatever, we'll um. I mean, you'll still be able to obviously unstake. The contract always exists on the chain, but uh, you'll have to do it from the contract. And, you know, we'll do a, a little guide on that. But, you know, for, for your ease, uh, just unstake now because there's no rewards at the moment anyway. I've turned off the rewards, so you're not missing out on anything. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering that when I read it. I was like, uh, are you, you going to provide a guide? <laughs> because you yeah, know, that, yeah. is, <laughs> that is hard for some people. It, it's even hard for me. Uh, you, yeah, I, yeah. You, I think you guided me through doing that once and some other people have to. And every time I'm asking again, like, how does this work? <laughs> There's a lot of steps <laughs> but, uh, sometimes, yeah. The, yeah, and then the, the, all kinds of um, terms that I don't really get um, yeah, because yeah, I'm not yeah. a coder. Okay. Moving on to, could you let us know the plans to keep that pool and the, oh, wait, first he's saying, what will be the mechanics for um, Anotica rewards? Percentage of the raisins minted or used uh, for recharge will be sent back as rewards on the pool. Uh, we're going to do it in a way, it's similar to, you know, rewards per second. So it's adjustable too. So we're going to calculate, you know, roughly what we think is a fair value for rewards per second, and then impl implement that in the contract, then pre-mint the raisin and put that in the contract for people to earn um, over time. And, you know, that may be adjusted here and there too. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, it's a way to get technically free raisin. Uh, you do obviously take risk being an LP, but uh, you get rewarded for that with raisins. So, um, yeah. All right. Uh, clear enough. Um, yeah, and then could you let us know the plans to keep that pool and the whole game attractive for current and especially new players? Yeah, that pool, that pool will stay up there uh, for as long as... Um, I think that's what we're going to do now, uh, depending on... You know, it's a, it, the thing is that we, we adjust as people give feedback and whatnot, like... That's why we are adjusting it right now to raisin instead of vintage. So, I mean, you know, we're always open to the feedback that we uh, take into account uh, and make adjustments if, if it makes sense, which I think this does. And, um, you know, I guess for the game in general, uh, there are still a couple of things that we want to do. Uh, right now it functions as it, as it does and it, it, it uh, works fine but i think there's some improvements to be made and i think we can add some extra features on top uh which is really nice and i'd like to do a little bit of a um uh, a live version as well which would be cool um so that you can actually interact with the game that'd be nice um so yeah a couple few updates all right um 
And the specific question was how to keep that pool attractive, but I guess it's just by making the game oh. attractive, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's, um, I think having it as raisin is is uh, already a bit more attractive anyway than having it as vintage uh, rewards because um, you know raisins used directly in the game, and um, you know you can have a stream of raisin coming to you instead of having to mint it. Every now and then, plus, yeah. and then you get the benefit of oh, everybody gets the benefit of some more liquidity in the uh, vintage mim LP. Yeah. All right. So already done. Are the notes migration still scheduled uh, for Tuesday? And if not, when? Yeah, yeah. So this this week I've been working on this, um, and that's something that we'll be doing. Uh, you know, this week, so or this coming week. Yeah, and then a question close to my heart: Any ETA for Vinium's curve and GLP as collateral? Yes. Um, not direct ETA, but um, the the curve LP will come very soon, and it will pop up. Um, kind of been doing a little bit in the background of this. Uh, a little work on the background on that, but um, yeah, and that should be coming very soon, and I'll announce it when it's live. <laughs> All right, then. Um, moving on, which LPs will be coming uh, to be used as collateral first? Uh, would we have S AVAX AVAX from TJ? All oh, right, that's a liquidity pool, like a S AVAX AVAX LP from TJ. Yeah, yeah. Would we have that? Uh, likely, um, I'd want to use the the V two pools because they have um, the benefit of uh, also with um, so essentially the V two pools on, on Trader Joe are really nice. They they use sort of you know Uniswap V three sort of idea where you put your price within a range and then you um, uh have all your liquidity within that range which means that you have um very low slippage and you can have much less liquidity in there which is really nice and i think uh still right now a lot of the liquidity on trader joe for the savax avax pair is still in the the normal pool the, the v1 pool which is fine but i you know i would like them i would like it to migrate over to the v2 pool um, and I don't know why Trader Joe isn't like forcing people to do that because it's a better option for the LPs too. You get more fees, um, but uh, but I think initially what we'll do is um, some of the stable pairs, you know, USDC, USDC dot E, uh, things like that, because they're um, obviously very low risk because they are just stable coins. And um, you don't have to worry about price uh, getting too crazy. I mean, you don't really have to worry about that with SAVAX, AVAX either. Um, but uh, we will we will start with the the stable pairs, uh, preferably in the V2 pools too. And I know that um, there's a couple apps like Stake Hunt on on, uh, on AVAX, which does do uh, they have vaults for uh for those v2 pools uh so we'll probably use that as the actual token um but behind that's behind the scenes and then you know on the, on the front end it's more just you know you, you zap in and whatnot um so yeah stable lps you know curve uh glp2 uh but that is uh having to finalize the oracle on that one because that is um not a perfect oracle it's not just technically designed for borrowing um so i have to i have to finalize that oracle but curve is good so that's probably the first one then stable lps glp will be in there too and i don't know if you have other recommendations too you know you have um pairs that you'd like in there then definitely uh Drop that in, you know, suggestions or you know, in the in the AMA questions, live yeah. chat, etc. And um, we'll look at that too. But obviously, the the main things that we're going to want is you know high liquidity or you know a lot of liquidity. 
say, you know, several million dollars of liquidity at least. And, you know, blue chip pairs, obviously. So, uh, you know, Bitcoin, ETH, AVAX, anything that you can get a chain link oracle for is, is, uh, is nice. Otherwise, um, it's going to be difficult to do it safely. Yeah. Well, Chainlink uh, uh, is is not hard to reach. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. getting a Chainlink Oracle is uh, very possible, even for the smaller projects. But liquidity thing is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. I had to cough, but did that off mic. Anyway, um, moving on to the live chat, where. Uh, Need money sends a very nice pixelated grape. Thank you there. And um, Dirk O as is saying, Good day, lover boy. It's been <laughs> over a year. <laughs> it's been over a year. Happy birthday, grape. Uh, yeah. yeah, happy birthday, grape. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Um, Lunar New Year has a red theme. Uh, so will there be some targeted tweets to capture the excitement for our NFTs and Vinium? I, I don't even know what that means. It has a red theme, but uh, yeah. So the question stands. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I mean, I've seen that the floor prices have gone up a little bit um, recently, and that's with AVAX increasing too. So that's yep. you know a, a bit of a double there, which is nice, uh, like a double increase, but. Um, yeah, I mean the NFT trade guys are cool too, and they, they've, um, you know, we're actually still one of the, the, the best collections there, uh, with some of the best volume still, uh, which is really nice, and uh, they recognize that, which is cool, and, and uh, they also propose something interesting, like they're implementing a, um, an SDK for, a uh, technically like a white label marketplace um which uses their kind you know which is their back end but um you know it's white labeled for protocols and you know you can capture fees on that too and that's maybe something that we do for for the game because i'd like to increase some assets on the game too where uh um, you know there's other things that are available and what does it mean exactly being what being white labeled, what what, what oh, would that white, mean? White labeled, like uh, you take their product, you know, the NFT marketplace, and you put your brand on it, basically. But it's still oh, their okay. product uh, in that they they do the heavy lifting. You know, they have the the back end, the infrastructure, and all that sort of stuff, and uh, you just put your brand on it. So it's it's uh, you know, it's a common thing in in a lot of businesses. That's you know they white label their products. Um, yeah, and. Uh, it saves a lot of development costs as well, and you can offer a nice product for that too. Yeah, so Saint is is responding like uh, we could have an NFT marketplace in game. <laughs> that would be yeah. great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the idea is we don't want to develop it ourselves because it's technically not our focus, and um, you know that will take resources away and there's some costs too. Uh, but they they uh, you know I, I talk to them relatively often and. They proposed, oh, they, they let us know that they're I implementing this SDK for that, and that's something we may explore. Um, especially we, we, you know, broaden the game, um, and it's, you know, a assets and, and different NFT lines for the for the game too. And so that, when it gets to a point where you have a lot of things, NFT wise in the game, it kind of makes sense to have it have a marketplace, an in person marketplace. Uh, so that's something we may do. All right, cool. Uh, and of course, uh, that uh, what was it? Uh, Unreal Five Engine Marketplace uh, still coming. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna mention this until at some point it's get, it gets gets like, <laughs> a few years later, like, a few years down the line. Unreal we'll Twelve. Finally get it. Yeah. yeah, Unreal Twelve or whatever that it will be. Right. <laughs> we can walk through the grape. Uh, the 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 vineyards and yeah, the, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and, and do our business there all right um okay uh need grape has two questions and i'm gonna ask the second one first is as safe 
because will the Benki team run off with all the staked AVAX and live <laughs> new anonymous <laughs> lives in the Mediterranean? <laughs> like, that's very specific. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're going to go the to the Caribbean. Caribbean, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah that, that's where they're going to go. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and then start a, start, start a pirate hideout. Because... <laughs> The Mediterranean is kind of small, um, and and yeah. it's I, I don't think I, relatively I don't think you easy can to hide. get to. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think you can hide there for long. Whereas in the <laughs> <laughs> probably in the in the Caribbean, uh, there's all kinds of weird small islands uh-huh, far yeah. away into the ocean. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, rocks carved in the shape of skulls, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the well, other question. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, I guess it's um, I, I, SAVX is pretty safe. It's uh, it's SAVX. <laughs> 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 S- yeah. S- I mean, Benki is a good team, and um, you know they're well respected in the AVAX community, and uh, I don't believe they can even do so, uh, because I'm pretty sure it's they they. Maybe they run the, the validators too, but I'm pretty sure other people can run validators as well now. Um, and that's where the AVAX goes. Like essentially, they're a service that you know connects validators and and uh, AVAX to them. So uh, I don't believe they have full control there anyway. No. Plus, they make money anyway. So you know, it's. It's kind of the thing where, you know, these guys are making money from a business that's pretty sustainable. Um, So it's not really, it doesn't, you know, they can just run that business and make money anyway. (laughs) Yeah. Why why slaughter the the golden egg goose or the gold egg goose or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. and of course, uh, there's all the criminal in- in implications as well. Yeah. Um, Neat Grape is also saying, uh, "What do you all think of Solidly? I hear a cool Solidly fork might be launching on AVAX soon. I I don't know enough of it. Do you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like Solidly. Uh, I think I mentioned before. I think maybe probably a few times on on AMAs. I like Solidly for their um, bribe mechanics and their ability to. Um, Essentially, offer cheap liquidity services for protocols, so protocols can um, incentivize liquidity pretty cheap. And I was kind of, uh, you know, disappointed there wasn't one on AVAX. But uh, yeah, I do know of one that's coming up, and um, I'm actually uh, quite pleased it's it's a uh, a solidly version too. So yeah, we'll be working with yeah. them. Good stuff. All right. Um, there are some things coming into the chat. Any update on burning, combining, upgrading tools in the game? Yeah, yeah. That's that's another thing. That's part of it. Uh, part of an update. But um, you know, the the thing with that is that it requires a bit more of a uh contract um you know reconfiguration as in that we'd need to change quite a few things to 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 get that uh functioning as intended so so in other words it comes more with a um a larger update down the line but that's definitely something that would be cool and i think that would be a good feature too Sorry, I was typing. Yeah, um, because <laughs> I wanted to know something about Hillbilly's question. Uh, I mean, Need Grape's question. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's referring to Solidly. I, I'm not actually Solidly. sure who runs Benki. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Benki's pretty VC backed. Um, so, you know, probably some big names there. Yeah, so the question was, I hear it's run by Hillbilly, yeah, yeah. so I don't know if that's something we can trust. Well, one thing about Hillbillies is that, well, they might have a, a culture that it could be really funny on, on when on, posed on screen, but there's still people <laughs> with their <laughs> with morals, right? <laughs> and, and even we have, we have Frozen Walrus, which is 
run by lame hillbilly <laughs> <laughs> and this guy uh i've spoken to him austin and and yeah he kind of you know he has the accent he's got it going i've spoken to his brother <laughs> as well and yeah he has the accent too you know yeah. and, and, uh, but that that still means you know they, they there are still proper people who are doing <laughs> their stuff right so it doesn't matter right yeah, yeah. <laughs> be a hillbilly if you want to it's all good <laughs> um, yeah, I believe that's what he's referring to yeah to solidly then to um, um the, the you know the war of skies yeah um uh, what Solidly is referring to the wallet or all those guys? Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know if... if uh, I don't want to leak anything. Ooh. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know if he's met, an, announced it. Oh, okay. okay, they did. Yeah, well, there you go. Glacier is the Solidly folk was talking about, Nikki. They announced it in the AMA yesterday. Cat is out yeah. of the bag. What did they announce? I'm sorry, I missed that. that. Uh, instead of Balancer... They'll be yeah. doing a, a solidly exchange. Oh, okay. That's cool. Nice. Um, then there was a pull suggestion, BTCB slash AVAX. Oh, that, that, I think, is a solid pull. Um, yeah, that's, that's a nice one. Um, that may come a bit later because there's uh, some risk there because of, um, you know, they're not the same. Uh, they're not the same token, in other words. So they have uh, divergence. Um, yeah. So we need to account for two different tokens there. Uh, but they're still blue chips, so that's definitely still uh, very possible. So it's not. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think we'll we'll do that eventually too. Yeah, it sounds like good pool. Um, and you can just uh, borrow some AFEX and some BTCB on it mm-hmm. and then just put up more <laughs> and see how that works out for you. If one of the two goes up a lot yeah, yeah. versus the other, you might be into, uh, in trouble. But then again, if you if you manage it right, it could be mm-hmm. good. It could be real good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Dirk Oaz has a question. Some people are offering their NFTs in Discord. Is P2P desirable over using NF trade? Um, well, mostly uh, it's not trustless uh, unless you found uh, some some escrow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, if if uh, people that are in the community have been there for a while and you know them and, and that sort of deal, then you know, it's I guess it's an easy way to do things. You can offer good deals and package deals and things like that, and um, you know, that's that's a fair option. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, obviously, there's risk involved, and you'd want to um, uh, be careful with who you transact with. Uh, make yeah. sure that you know they're at least have some that uh, they've at least been around in the community for a little while, and you you know they've been active, and they're not just some like new guy that pops out of nowhere because um, it's most likely a scam. Then, but but uh, yeah, you know, there's definitely I, I've seen people do. Uh, Peer to peer in the the winemaker chat and, and whatnot, and you know, there's it can work out well for both parties. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it, but just obviously be careful and um, make sure yeah. you're transacting with people that you trust and that are known in the community, and that um, you know, is so, so you don't get scammed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, well, that. Uh, and of course, uh, ascros might be popping up at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, until that time, just be careful. Any new thoughts on putting uh, the winery collection to work? Yeah, there's. Uh, I mean, it's definitely something that I've thought about. Um, I mean, there's quite a few things that probably have to come first um, as more of a priority. But any way that we can. We will uh, provide benefits to them, to the winery holders. Uh, so, and if you have any suggestions, what uh, you'd like thing to is, see too. The thing is, I, I, I usually think 
about such things in a tokenomic way. So, so where should it come from? Uh, you yeah, do that exactly. Too. Um, and the thing is, you can design something what you know that that should feed into uh the value of those nfts uh and i, I think you already have uh in your mind somewhere a concept where you do that um but also even if you design it well still needs to there still needs to be some revenue to actually get there um so yeah yeah the i i do see a rally in the market i mean we all see that I don't know if that is the end of the bear market. Um, I fear it's not. Uh, but um, if it if it is, and we're going back into bull, or uh, at least you know going back into a better market, then stuff will pick up again. And you know, um, of course, though the winery collection will also benefit from that. Mm -hmm. So wine shares and the winery collection collection mostly uh but also x grape and all of it actually <laughs> it all is all tied together so yeah it yeah works. yeah exactly oh yeah oh well, there's uh dirk also saying hey remember there are free spins in the casino uh for the winery yeah, yeah. collection nft holders That's that is true thing. I forget that too sometimes, but uh, <laughs> yeah, can just connect your wallet to the casino and and get your free spins. They they're refreshed every week. So, <clears throat> okay, um, Saint and Neat Grape are typing. I'm I'm gonna end it after that because we've kind of ground to a um a slow. Saint is saying, hey, can't forget when nodes migration. That's I think it's been sad. Uh, like, like it's still Tuesday, right? Yeah, yeah. This this week, this coming week, um, they'll be sorted out. Okay, this coming week. Okay, then I think I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah, missed the first few minutes. That's okay. Okay, guys. Um, everyone, thank you for your questions and thank you for attending. Uh, LB, thank you for your answers and your time and. Everyone, yeah, actually, thank, yeah. you. Uh, thank you. Thanks for your time. Even if you're listening to this uh, on YouTube while cycling or sitting in your car or whatever you're doing, uh, li listening to us while singing under the shower, no, don't sing too loud <laughs> because then you can't hear us. It doesn't matter. You're spending your time, uh, you know, uh, caring uh, for for uh, great finance and the community, and uh, that's valuable. That's nice. So, yeah. thanks a lot for that, and. Um, See you all next week. Yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks for your questions and uh, listening in too. And we'll yeah, we'll see you next week. All right then. Bye everyone.